last uh, example before we just start uh, looking at the bigger picture. I know you, bigger picture from the data. <laughs> uh, two things. One is uh, very interesting for me as a uh, election analyst, what we call a handouts at political time, which are actually asset transfers or you give people money to buy a girl child a bicycle. Uh, you give up or you just give money, a universal basic income. One, does that make people lazy? Absolutely no evidence that it does. And you've In tested fact, this. We've tested this across many countries, um, many different interventions where people got differing amounts of money, quite large amounts of money, small amounts of money. Sometimes the money comes with some amount of some, some actually some uh, encouragement to, uh, so there are different variants of this. In all cases, the average effect on what we call labor supply, a number of hours worked or number of uh, days in the week you work or something, is basically zero. It doesn't go down. You it give them money, it doesn't say I won't work it, tomorrow. But uh, in fact, in many cases we find that the g giving people money makes them more enthusiastic and more productive. Really? So we did a study in Ghana where we, we actually set up a bag factory to measure productivity. Uh, we produced over 100,000 bags in this process, but that means we knew exactly what's happening to productivity. So we could see that people who got a little bit of an extra gift, they were more enthusiastic and they were much more productive. That's amazing. So one shouldn't call them handouts. They, that's kind of very, Economist word. Well, I, I hate <laughs> the word handouts, but I also, I mean, I, I think it's a bigger point we make in the book, which is that I think part of this ideology of, you know, treating people who are, who are not somehow economically successful as moral failures. This is this Victorian ideology, which I think we have continued to imbue, and economics is the flag bearer for that. I feel like that's extremely costly because right. at some level the world is such an uncertain place. There's so many, so much that happens to us that we have no control over. You know, the Chinese export this, jobs go away, or the, you know, the, uh, whatever, the exchange rate appreciates and jobs go away, or, you know, new technologies are developed in America and jobs go away. All of that, how, how does one, why do we blame individuals for not succeeding in a world where most of what's happening to them are like slings and arrows of outrageous fortune? So I think being more sympathetic to people who have been hit by uh, shocks and not thinking of them as being, you know, people you are being generous to despite what you should do, but rather being grateful to them for not being more angry about what right, and your get. data shows that if you give, I think you call it top, targeting the ultra poor, if you give them money or an asset, like a couple of cows, or it, it, they don't stop working, they, it improves their lives and they work harder. Yeah, this top program actually goes beyond uh, a, a money transfer. It's actually, it's, actually it's, an, it's a productive asset combined with some, uh, combined with some uh, help to use that as assets, it's a program that was designed by asset like cows or something like that. Uh, two cows or some goods or something to start a business. It's a, right. um, uh, a project that was developed by the wonderful organization BRAC in uh, in Bangladesh. And the the this program targets the poorest of the poor. And it goes. That's why it goes beyond giving them money. It goes beyond even giving them just the asset, but it also gives them Some kind of enough to get started with their asset. Give them the confidence to get started with their asset. And this program has been evaluated first in Bangladesh and then in in seven or eight countries uh, around the world. And in all of the countries, they found or we found in some of the countries we were involved a uh, very large effect in the. You Medium really term. improve the lives of the poor. You really improve the life of the poor. And now in India, we've been following this, this household for over 10 years. And 10 years later, their incomes are still 25% uh, larger than the incomes of those who didn't get the assets at the very beginning. So one push lasts for 10 years. And at this point, I would assume, presumably for even longer. Yeah, yeah. So which is an, an enormous... So it's uh, better than... Uh, 
fiscal stimulus and... Oh, it's an enormous <laughs> return on your investment. Uh, so coming